Hey there, River Rider fans. Spencer Chiak here. I'm joined with all-star Marcus Brown. Marcus, thank you so much for taking the time. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. First off, before we get into your all-star selection, a freaky incident last night, top of the third, colliding with Miles McKissick. How are you feeling right now? No, I feel good. Just a little sore. None, none too bad. Glad to hear it. Now on to the all-star selection announced on Monday, a league-wide off day. How did you find out? I, I found out via Twitter, um, but it was a cool moment, no, for sure. Who was the first phone call to after finding out, or did somebody call you? Uh, I called my parents, uh, and we were kind of pretty stoked about it. Did you have any conversations outside of your family? Uh, I mean, I had some, some coaches uh, text me, um, you know, from school and stuff, but then we also texted uh, fellow All-Stars, uh, you know, from, from school, and it was a cool moment. What were those conversation texts like? Are you excited to get to play with some more teammates out here? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, we all set out here and had the goal of making the All-Star game, and we made it happen. And so, you know, it'll be cool just to hang out with them and know that, you know, a lot of people were, were excited for us, and, you know, we're excited too. What have your conversations been like with Oklahoma State head coach Josh Holiday throughout the Appy League? Uh, we've been able to stay in touch a little bit. Um, but, no, it, it's been good, uh, you know, you know, I think he's excited that, you know, all of our guys in this league are performing well. And, you know, we're excited to get back to work in Stillwater in the fall. Now, an Appy League leader in average, right up there in singles, too. Coming into the season, were you expecting to lead in all these categories? Uh, you know, I don't think it's a, a goal to, you know, you know, try to break every stat record or lead in every stat record. But, I mean, I think the biggest thing has been, you know, me just taking what pitchers have been able to give me um, and not trying to do too much. And, you know, I think the stats take care of themselves. But I'm just, you know, like I said, I'm just excited to help produce for this team every night. Now, for the team, a leader in almost every category, have you also taken a leadership within the locker room? Um, you know, I, I feel like that's my goal everywhere I go is to, you know, help help lead the, the team and, you know, just not just like on the field, you know, but, you know, lead by action in the locker room. And yeah, you know, I feel like I, I have been able to help out in, in that aspect, but it's just it's just been nice to be an emotional leader as well and just try to try to lead by example every time you're on the field. Is there a moment where you've had a conversation with a guy or even with manager Kevin Riggs that's really stuck out to you so far this season? Uh, I wouldn't say just one moment. Um, I think just trying to pick pick people's brains, you know, as far as what you know what they're doing, or them coming up to me picking my brain as to you know, hey, why are you having this success? Why are you doing this and stuff like that? And just trying to share my knowledge and also learn from others. And I think that's how you grow as a person and a player. All right, 15 games left this season for the River Riders. Four and a half out. As a team, what do you think you guys need to do to be successful here down the stretch? Um, you know, I think just keeping up good tempo on the mound, uh, keep putting together good at bats. I mean, I, I think we're, we're starting to string together good at bats and uh, just really think clean defense and pitching is, is going to take us a long ways because I'm not worried about our bats at all. Now, for you in 15 days, what do you want to do to feel successful at the end of the season? Uh, I think I just want to keep slowing the game down at the plate, um, take, take what's given to me. You know, if people want to pitch around you know us in the middle of the lineup I think we need to take our walks I don't think we need to get too aggressive at the plate and just I mean really honestly just have fun stay relaxed and you know make things happen all right Marcus thank you so much for the time no absolutely thank you River Rider fans we'll be right back after this